Tom Sawyer was a schoolboy. It was Monday morning. He was feeling miserable. When Monday morning started, he felt nervous because he thought another week started a show and he had to suffer in school. After Sunday, that was a holiday. It was very painful for him to go to a school on Monday. To avoid school, he tried some ways. He thought to present it to be sick so that he could stay home from school. But he had to find reasons for his sick. He wanted to pretend to suffer from stomach pain. But it had a little success because the pain might go feeble soon. So he thought that the plan could not work. Then suddenly he discovered another thing. One of his upper teeth was loose. This was the lucky way for his plan. He was about to begin to groan. But he thought once again. If he told about his loose tooth, his aunt would pull it out and that would hurt him. So he kept this plan in reserve. He investigated another plan. He eagerly drew his sore toe from under the sheet and held it for inspection. It seemed to help him a promising element. Now he had to produce the symptoms. But he died not to know suitable symptoms. However, at last he thought of falling to groan on the bed. First, he wanted his half-brother Sid to tell his aunt about his ailment. But Sid slept on very soundly. Tom ground louder and imagined that he began to feel pain in the toes. He shocked Sid to get up from the bed. He groaned louder and louder. This plan seemed to work well. At last, Sid woke up. As he was waking up, Tom began to groan again and again. Sid, in wonder, asked Tom what the matter was with him. He pretended to groan again. Sid thought Tom was about to die. Soon he went to inform the auntie. He informed the auntie that Tom had something wrong and he was about to die. On hearing this, auntie was anxious to know about it. And she went to Tom immediately. When she reached there, her lips trembled to look at Tom. She asked him what the matter was with him. Tom said that his sore toe was mortified. The auntie relaxed from the tension. She understood his pretense. It was nonsense to do so. So she told him that she must get him to stop that nonsense. No sooner did she threaten than stopped groaning and pain disappeared from the toe. Then he used his reverse plan that was tooth pain. Auntie asked him what the matter was with a tooth. He was asked to open his mouth so that she could lose his tooth and pull it out. Tom understood the situation that would bring him to her to his tooth. Realizing the situation, he told his aunt that she should not do anything to his tooth and he would not stay at home from school. Dental instruments were brought to the room where Tom was in. With the help of those instruments, auntie made Tom's tooth loose and pulled it out. Then she told him that his tooth was out and he should go to school. She warned him not frighten her like that.